Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'll show you how you can make use of the LiDAR sensor on your iPhone 15 Pro or the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, first question you will ask me is, hey Manchi, what is this LiDAR? Well, LiDAR stands for light detection and ranging or light imaging detection and ranging. How this works is it is going to target an object and then it is going to hit that object with laser and then based on how much time it takes for the laser to come back it can figure out the distance the depth the shape of the object which iphone models have lidar so other than the 15 pro and the 15 pro max any iphone pro model from iphone 12 and above will have the lidar sensor how do you know your iphone has the lidar sensor will you see this black circle this here is the lidar sensor on my iphone 15 pro max similarly this here on the iphone 14 pro this is the lidar sensor and this here on the iphone 12 mini we do not have a lidar sensor now since LiDAR is working by bouncing laser rays of an object, it is generally used in 3D modeling. And can you actually enable or disable the LiDAR sensor on your iPhone 15 Pro or the iPhone 15 Pro Max? The answer to that is no. There is no option in the settings on the iPhone 15 Pro or the iPhone 15 Pro Max to disable the LiDAR sensor. And now I'm pretty sure the next question will be that, hey Manji, you just said this is used for 3D modeling, then why do I have a LiDAR sensor on my iPhone Pro models? Well, Apple uses the LiDAR sensor to one, improve low light pictures. Then if your iPhone 15 Pro or the 15 Pro Max with the LiDAR sensor, it will take better portrait shots. Why? Because the LiDAR sensor will kick in. It can measure the depth of the object, how far away it is. So portrait shots are going to be better on iPhones which have the LiDAR sensor. And another awesome pro tip over here is that if you have an iPhone Pro model which is 12 and above with the LiDAR sensor, then you can actually use the LiDAR sensor to measure the height of a person. Just ask the person to go stand against the wall and then on your iPhone, you need to open the measure app. Once you're in the measure app, make sure on the bottom measure is selected. Then the next thing you need to do is point your iPhone towards the person, make sure that the head and the toe are in the frame and pretty soon you are going to get a pretty accurate height measurement of the person. Another awesome use wherein technology actually helps people is the magnifier app on these iPhone Pro models, which have the LiDAR sensor, you can actually use it to detect people. So let us go into the magnifier app and then you need to tap on this square kind of thing on the extreme right. Once you do that, it is going to kick in detection mode. So here it is, you can see you do have the option of people detection and we can say continue. Now, once we are in this mode on the right hand side of the screen, you will see a bunch of options. So we have people detection, door detection, and then you also have image and text detection options. But if you are not able to see properly, then these options of people detection and door detection are going to be a great feature. And of course, because this is an Apple product, you do have third party softwares, which make awesome great use of this LiDAR sensor. One of them is Polycam. So with Polycam, you can actually scan an object and create a 3D model of that specific object. And then you can import the very same 3D model into 3D softwares like Autodesk Maya, Blender, and play around with that 3D model. Another awesome application of the LiDAR sensor is to use an application called canvas using that you can create a 3d model of your house and then you can import that 3d model which you just created into any CAD software and design a floor plan for your own house then another great use of the lidar sensor is in applications like IKEA so you're planning to buy furniture from IKEA you want to see how it will fit in your space well that specific application from ikea can actually use the lidar sensor on your iphone pro models to give you a better visualization of how the furniture will fit and look in your space similarly you also have the unreal engine with their reality scan using the lidar sensor on the iphone pro models 
and then if you are into gaming and racing there is an application called rc club racing now this is an ar application which is going to project cars on the surfaces around you and then you can play around with those cars race them with your friends so yes there are some awesome great uses of the lidar sensor on your iphone 15 pro or the iphone 15 pro max and most of the applications which we talked about in this video are linked in the description of the video and before we end if you have any other application which you think is worth mentioning which makes great use of the lidar sensor on the 15 pro and the 15 pro max make sure you leave a comment on this video